Welcome to Win Souls TV. This is your host Jeff Thomas and my co-host Reese. Give me some big dog. Oh yeah, show the crowd. You know, let them know who you are. Sit. Speak. Oh yeah. See, so let you know. You know, that's Reese right there. You know, but um, so today, I really just wanted to talk about a thing that the Lord. Oh, and by the way, y'all see this piece of tape. This piece of tape is for the crazies out there, okay? There's a lot of crazy people in this world, and, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know how to, like, blur things out on camera yet. I'm not camera savvy, okay, or camera equipment savvy yet. I haven't taken any courses. I don't know how to video edit that well, okay? I'm not, a, I didn't go to school for this, okay? The Lord told me to just get on camera and do my thing. And I said, okay, Lord, I'll go wherever you want me to go. This is what I do. So, this jacket, okay, literally has my company, the company that I work for, outside of YouTube, because I don't work for YouTube. I'm not getting paid by YouTube. It has their logo on it, okay? It has their name on it. And it's a lot of crazy people in this world. And, uh, I don't want y'all knowing why I work. <laughs> okay. So, all jokes aside, yeah, I don't know how to do it, blur stuff out. So, I just put the tape on there. Maybe I'm just starting a fashion trend for Christians. You know, you just put the tape on there for all of the little trash t-shirts that, you know, we, we, we buy and all of this crap, but we just put some tape on it, and you can wear it. Okay? That's a joke. Don't even buy it. Okay? Just don't, don't, don't buy it with all the satanic symbols and stuff out there. Anyway, let's move on to the message. So the message for today is not shrinking back. Okay, it's going to be a short message, but very powerful. So I'm coming out of Hebrews 10, 38. And it says, but the just shall live by faith. And if he draws back and shrinks in fear, my soul has no delight or pleasure in him. Now, us as Christians, we have a lot of responsibilities, right? And those responsibilities are carried out by the direction and the commands that the Lord has given us in the word, right? So we are not only supposed to come to a, a place to where our faith is not just a lifestyle, but it is literally who we are. Uh, we are to literally be carrying out those things in the word. Now, there are, there are sometimes, there are times where, and I'll give you guys an example after this, there's a time where sometimes the Lord will tell us to do things that are just, it just seems so outlandish and it takes us so far out of our comfort zone to the point where it's like the Lord couldn't possibly have said that. No way. No way. I mean, oh my gosh. And so I'll give you an example. There was, um, there was a time period where I was, I was doing YouTube. I was doing YouTube. And I was, I was still out ministering to people everywhere that I go, and I still do that. And it came a time after a certain relationship a few years ago where I became kind of like fearful of some of the things that the Lord was telling me about my future. Um, he was telling me about very big things, about how, how, how I'd be speaking in, on certain specific platforms and it just seemed so intimidating to me but you know slowly but surely I, I didn't it was like I was taking steps toward it but I wasn't like beating down the door it was like I was just kind of like taking baby steps you know and it came a time where I started to slow down and I started to become fearful like right when I was on the cusp of moving into the greater things that the Lord uh, was moving it moving me into and now it, it has gotten to the point where I can either stay where I'm at or move fully head on all in with what he has told me I'm supposed to be doing and instead of moving forward I would intentionally self-sabotage some of the things that he was telling me to do. Uh, easy tasks, 
But those tasks that were building up, they were going to end up unleashing that individual that was going to be moving into the next platform that the Lord was leading me to. And I was I was literally just kind of piddling my fingers. I was doing other things other than what I should have been doing so that I could have an excuse mentally as to why I wasn't getting what the Lord was telling me to do done. And it was really it was really a, a bad time period because there were no distractions. I didn't have any relationships, not saying relationships are distractions, but they can be. I didn't have any relationships. I didn't have anybody in my life that didn't have any distractions. And so with that, the only thing that was holding my holding me back was me. And it was just like <laughs> I was happy that the Lord had called me somewhere. But then I was also in this uncomfortable down mental state where I was kind of beating myself up because it was just like I keep going through these cycles of like, OK, I'm going to do this and then I draw back. OK, I, I'm going to do this. And then I, I draw back a little bit because the thing that the Lord was bringing me to was just intimidating to me. And recently during this long fast, this time that I was taking away from YouTube and, you know, other things. I was watching a a Christian movie and it's called Pilgrim's Progress, okay? And in that movie, the Lord used that movie to show me that look, we don't have very much time. There's a very direct path that that I have you on. There's a narrow path that leads to me. And then there's also while you're walking on that path, I am equipping you for what you are supposed to be doing for my kingdom your own individual calling okay and we we don't have very much time tomorrow isn't promised and so he used that verse in that movie to literally wake me up like hey what are you doing man it's just like i have called you to do something i you know i've i've led you all the way up to this point do you really think I'm not going to hold your hand when 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 you take the step of faith that I'm leading you toward in the first place? I've I've I haven't led you I haven't led you astray. So why are you drawing back? Why are you pulling back now? Why are you pulling back now? I hadn't lost I, I hadn't lost hope in the Lord. The only thing was just that I was in my flesh in the in the time of actually Fulfilling the things that the Lord was calling me to do. And then I remembered Moses when the Lord had called Moses to do something. And Moses was coming up with all of these different excuses as to why he couldn't do it. Lord, I can't speak. Well, then I'll give you Aaron. Well, I can't do this. Oh, well, I'll give you that. Well, I, I can't do this. Well, I'll equip you with this too. And so there's no reason not to accomplish what the Lord has has for you because literally he's equipping you based on the steps of faith and moving in that direction based on the thing that he has called you to do. Okay. So we don't have time to draw back. We don't have time to literally be called righteous, uh, being in right standing with the Lord when in reality, you know what I'm saying? We're in right standing, but we're not where we could be because of the simple fact that we quiver and we shake every single time that the Lord calls us to do something great. Something where we're moving down a staircase in a direct path, but we can't necessarily see the steps. But if we could see the next step, we would see that the Lord's hand was carrying that whole staircase the entire time. In the, in the way that he wanted us to move. So don't draw back. We don't have time to take steps back. We can only go forward. Moving on that narrow path that leads to the kingdom of heaven. You guys be blessed. Don't draw back. Have a good one.